Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our arms but as usual we are going to start with at least a couple of minutes of dynamic stretching wherein I am going to perform the greatest stretch for 5 to maybe 4 to 5 repetitions on each side followed by deep squat and some bird pose to you know strengthen my core which has been lately my objective to work on my core muscles and my calf muscles on a regular basis to improve their strength and also the muscle definition in those spaces. Now for the dynamic stretching part as you can see one of the routines which I have added here is the bird pose which previously I wasn't doing but since I have realized that my core strength is slightly lacking I have added this. Since the video is, is at a 2 to 3x speed, you might feel I'm not holding it for a long period of time, but actually I'm holding it for 5 to 10 seconds. So I recommend doing that because only when you hold it for 5 to 10 seconds is when it it is kind of challenging. If you just go through the moment, there's not much, in, or much happening. We're going to finish off with a deep squat and then we can begin with our exercises. Now for the first exercise, I have done a superset of tricep extensions with barbell and easy barbell curls. Now before you start with the exercise, I would rec definitely recommend at least a couple of sets of warm up, maybe, maybe 10 to 15 repetitions to just get the blood flowing, get the joints a little bit warmed up because no matter how much dynamic stretching we do, it's it's quite great if you can just start off with at least two sets of warm up, uh, basically warm up sets, which will help you, you know, prime your muscles properly for the working sets. Now, for the working sets, I have done three sets, 20 repetitions, since it's a super set. So basically, you finish, you can start either way. You can start with your biceps and then, the, and then do the triceps, or you can start with your triceps and then do the biceps. So, Start off doing tricep behind the head, barbell extensions, 20 repetitions, go up till failure. Here you can see once I was hitting failure behind my head, I brought it onto my head, did the regular skull crushes, as many repetitions as possible. With barbell curls, when I was hitting failure, I was doing partial repetitions, up to 5 to 10 repetitions to get the maximum out of my biceps. So quite a demanding superset. Rest in between can be 60 to 90 seconds depending upon how good is your recovery and how quickly you can feel your arms back to normal because you will have a lot of blood circulation going thanks to the superset both your biceps and triceps will be full of blood and you might also feel a little bit of out of breath after the second set. So take breaks according to your necessity you need not stick to a 60 second rule all the time. Post completing these since the muscles are a little bit fatigue, I moved on to my calf muscle training. Again, straight leg calf presses on the leg press machine. Three sets, as many repetitions as possible. Every set with 45 to, actually 30 to 45 seconds of rest. Again, the rest is not strict in terms of time. Take as much rest as you require, but not too long and not too short. As I mentioned in my previous videos, if you have great calf muscles and if you feel you have adequate muscle mass in your calves, you you can just skip this part. It's not necessary. For me, I feel it's quite necessary to improve the muscle mass in my calf muscles and also the definition and strength of my calf muscles. So I am training them every day, trying to add as much volume as possible. Yes, of course, I'm not doing multiple exercises. I'm only doing one particular exercise, but I'm also trying to do failure sets, three sets. So hopefully the results will be good. It's a, I, I mean, constant ex experiment, I would say. Post completing those, now since my legs, uh, sorry, my hands are relaxed for quite some time, we're going to start off with high cable curls, three sets, 20 repetitions. As you know, we don't take breaks while switching from one arm to the other, unless until you're extremely challenged in terms of your breathing cardiovascularly just switch from one arm to the other 20 reps right hand 20 reps left hand then you might take 30 to 45 seconds break if 
not you can continue going on from one arm to the other constantly if it feels very easy i would recommend upping the weight slightly because it shouldn't it should be challenging i think by second set your biceps should be really sore or at least extremely pumped a lot of blood circulation so make sure the weight is challenging and always follow the full range of motion i recommend that at all times make sure you get complete contraction and a complete stretch that's what we are focusing here once done with the high cable curls we move on to tricep work again for tricep i did behind the head cable extensions or rope extensions tricep extensions french press whichever name which you prefer to call it three sets 20 repetitions again the rest is not strict in terms of 45 seconds you might want to take 60 seconds and that's absolutely fine depends upon the fatigue level of your arms and how quickly are you are able to recover while switching from biceps to tricep you need not take much of a break i would say a short 20 to 30 second break to just catch your breath is fine but otherwise much break between two different muscles is not absolutely necessary make sure you go all the way down feel the stretch in your tricep muscle like i'm doing here and from there press up as explosively as possible come down as slow as possible and you have a great set in your hands this way it is important again to make sure the weight is challenging always after that i since again arms of uh, at fatigue so i moved on to a little bit of core work wherein i have done a minute of plank hold on an unstable uh, i would say support at my elbow area but the reason why i like to uh, rest myself or place my elbows on a bosu ball or a half bosu ball is because they're comfortable they're not aching on my elbows and my shoulders are a little bit more relaxed there's also slight bit of challenge in terms of my core because i'm constantly trying to stabilize my, myself in a moving uh, support i can also move a little bit front and back whenever i require if i want to make it a little bit more challenging lot of benefits but for you if you don't or if you don't want to try it out on first go itself on a bosu ball you can directly do it on a flat ground you need not do one minute at a time you can also do 20 seconds 30 seconds at a time couple of times three times and that should be sufficient in terms of training just make sure you progress every day try to add couple of seconds to your plank post completing those we move back to bicep work wherein i have done hammer curls on a rope attachment basically cable curls three sets 20 repetitions i know this is a lot of volume you might think this might fatigue your arms a lot you might have you know extreme amount of soreness i understand but since we are not training our arms every second or third day we are only getting to train them on a third day or the fourth day actually so i would recommend to accumulate as much volume as possible in a short while this would help but even then when we are doing our back exercises when we are doing our push exercises our triceps and biceps are still working but this is kind of an isolation targeted training for our biceps and triceps you will achieve a lot of good muscle mass trust me on that but make sure you get as much volume as possible so you need not lift extremely heavy weights you can keep the weight just challenging enough and get the extremely challenging repetitions in post completing those we move on to row push downs three sets 20 repetitions and as you can see here focus on getting full amount of contraction and full amount of stretch as much as possible there is no reason why you can't load heavy load heavy but make sure your shoulders and your trap muscles are not jumping in in terms of controlling the weight or pushing the weight down we want the weight to be always focused on the tricep muscle i actually post watching this video i realized that there's a little bit of more uh range of motion avail available to me which i have corrected in my next video which i um, most probably i'll point out the next time when i perform the tricep push downs but i would like to take my wrist a lot more up because that would give me a little bit more stretch in my tricep muscles while doing the exercise i just did not feel or did not realize that so i would recommend you to do that 
post completing these we are done with our training of arms we're going to finish off with a simple vertical hold a little bit of forearm endurance training and also bicep stretch good way to finish off our day thank you so much for watching the video if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section regarding the new routine please do share and let me know i'll keep the videos coming out as soon as possible in terms of my training once again thank you so much for watching i hope you had a great workout like i did i'll see you in the next video till then take care have a great day